you have had a great time in the Ireland series, uh, hitting your first 50 in the format, and then you took that form to the ODI. So, how much of a tweak you made make do between the two formats, or is this the same game for you? Um, I think you know I have to adapt my game a lot, um, especially going to the top of the order in in the T20s. You kind of have to take advantage of the foul play and you know kind of eat over the field and eat through the field. So. Um, whereas in ODIs, I obviously just take my time in the beginning and, and build an inning because you can't, I w- kind of want to bat long so that our stroke play, players can come around and you know, play their shots. Um, so I kind of want to be that anchor in the innings. And obviously in T20, there's 120 balls is actually still a lot of balls. Um, I think that's a conversation my coach and I have quite often. He said there's, there's nearly enough time. So I think I just um, look to play good cricket shots and, and you know, and let, like I said, let our, our power play, players come in and just maximise. Um, so there is a little bit of a, uh, a difference in the roles, but you know it's 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 nice and easy to to swap between the two, and and like I said, the players around me make it easy. So how do you see the inclusion of Commonwealth Games in the inclusion of cricket in the Commonwealth Games in helping women's cricket grow? I, I, I think it's good because I mean women's cricket has has been able to stand on its own now for quite a while. I think. Um, I mean, this World Cup showed you there were such amazing high schooling games and, you know, exciting for those games. Like, we had quite a nice nail-biter against India. and um, Like, we've always had nail-biters against India in the past. So, um, it, it's nice for the for the growth of the game. It will expose the game to, to you know, um, girls or, or people who watch um, other sports that are already in the Commonwealth Games. So, it just... It's kind of just um, showing cricket off to the rest of the world as well. So I think it's it's a massive step forward, especially for the women's game. Um, and so, like I said, everyone's just excited to get going. So unlike the World Cup uh, in Commonwealth, you have three chances to have a medal. So what are the goals for the Commonwealth Games? Um, obviously, as a side, we we feel we we are very good cricket side, so we will always want to go for the win. Um, so you know we're going for gold. We're not just there to to compete and make up the numbers. And we know it'll be difficult because there is very really, uh, strong sides in in the tournament. But I mean we've shown that on our day we can beat absolutely anyone. And um, so the girls are like I said, the girls are excited and everyone's just like happy to be part of something new for the game of cricket. Um, so yeah, we we'll always we we'll always strive for the best. We be a team that have insanely high standards and. You know, our, our coaching staff expect a lot of us and we expect a lot of ourselves. So, we'll definitely be going for the win. Now, we will go back to the beginning. How did you start playing cricket? Uh, I actually, I have an older brother and he kind of just showed me the ropes. Um, he just showed me how to, to eat the ball, how to catch a ball, how to bowl the ball and all that stuff. So, I just started in the streets and then um, I went to, to school and then... I somehow got into the boys team. I said, look here, yeah, I can I can kind of play this game. And, and I got into the boys team and then I just played throughout school, got involved in, in the Western Province structure back home in Cape Town. And then, you know, it kind of just started from there. I actually played uh, football or soccer, whichever one you want to call it, uh, for quite a while as well. Um, and a lot of people thought that, you know, that was going to be the sport and I'd be playing for Banyana Banyana. But that came to a stage where I had to choose between the two and um, I chose cricket and, and I'd only regret that that decision for one minute and um, yeah, that, that's why I am and I, and I love, absolutely love the game. I'm a massive football fan as well. So, um, I watch a lot of football but but I love that I get to play cricket for a living. So, how was it making your international debut for South Africa in 2016? Um, it was actually quite a challenging time, I feel, because um, at the time, I don't, I don't think uh, within myself, I was actually quite ready for, for the debut. Um, but I mean, it, it came it came along and, and I kind of made the most of it the, what I could um, when I was uh, that that age but you know I, I just went back when I was when I fell out of the national team I just went back and I worked um, insanely hard um, I kind of I think I said it in, in one of my other interviews as well where I kind of just went back and tore my technique apart and, and kind of just came up with better plans and, and I just changed the entire way that I trained the entire way that I lived my life um, and so I made I made very big changes and um, luckily, they they were they, well, they paid off, and you know now I'm, I'm back in the side and, and consistently in the South African team. You just talked about uh, ripping your technique apart. So, how much of an influence your coach Rashdi yeah, had on that? I think a massive one. Um, he and I have been working back home together um, for quite a while, uh, for quite a few years actually. Um, so we kind of just went back and, and, and kind of just analyzed everything and thought, okay, look here, how am I going to, 
you know, take all this potential and, and, and like mold it into to something that can last long and, and stay long in the South African side. You know, I think we found a recipe. We're still obviously working very hard. So when after the store, when I go back home, it's, it'll take a little time to rest. But then, you know, we're back in it, kind of trying to transform our game, um, especially in T20s. So we'll go back and we'll work on, on a lot of things. And I think, um, you know, he's been such a big influence or the way I or the way I bat and the way I go about um, batting in general. So, you know, I can only be thankful for him. Um, I know that, that there's still a lot of hard work to go. I, I haven't eaten my prime yet, hopefully not. So, um, hopefully there's still many more runs for, for this team. You also seem to have put, uh, put in a lot of work on your fitness. So, what are the things, specific things you have been working on your fitness? I think I just uh, started being consistent with my fitness. Um, I started running uh, twice as much as I used to, uh, watching what I put into my body, uh, drinking a lots and lots of water, um, spending a lot of time in the gym. Um, even now, on to, you know, I'm, I'm always in the gym, uh, waking up early every um, every other morning to, to go for a run, just so I can maintain that... that um, fitness level and then obviously when I go home that's when I kind of push my body to its limits uh, and that's where I also a lot to our, to our fitness trainer um, he came in maybe a year and a half ago and you know he just always expected the best from me and he, he kind of pushed me um, in ways where I would get a little bit upset with him and I'd be like are you crazy do you really want me to do this and do you really think I can do this and he made me he showed me that you know anything's possible if you just kind of put your mind to it and you know he still always he's expecting like my fitness levels at, at such a good good um, level now that he's expecting me to, to even uh, do better things with, with regards to that. So, yeah, I actually owe a lot to him and um, yeah, hopefully uh, for a while I'll still be fit and, and, and ready to go. So, you were dropped from the squad uh, after the after an India tour in 2019 and uh, poetically your turnaround also happened when in, you visited India in 2021. So, how was that turnaround? Um, like I said, I had a lot of lock, uh, lot of time in lockdown to kind of work on my technique and, you know, put in the hours in the gym and, and, and uh, in the net. So I think when, when India came around, we had a Pakistan series just before that where we I got started. And, yeah. You know, I actually thought, okay, no, like something, something good's going to come, something good is going to come because I've been working insanely hard. I was hitting the ball well. And I went into India um, with a lot of confidence and luckily it paid off. Um, I mean, I've, I've had quite a bit of success against India individually. So um, I always knew that I could kind of like just make the best of, of my technique. And I think uh, what I did was I, I learned how to play spin insanely well. And I knew exactly going to India, playing against Pakistan, they were going to throw a lot of spin at me. So I went back and I kind of just remodeled my, my game against spin. And, you know, it's been working for me and I know players will work for me more in the future.